Hey guys, Jake here, coming at you with another math problem today. Here's the problem I'm going to be showing you today. I did a problem similar to this yesterday, so we're going to go through kind of the same process. I'll put a link up here so you can check that out and a link in the description if you want to start there. Um, but let's go ahead and jump into it. So what we're going to do is find the equation of the line that is tangent to the function y equals x times e to the x when x equals 0. So like I kind of said in the, the video yesterday, Basically, when we're trying to find the equation of a tangent line to a given function at a specific point, we need to make sure that it you know, intersects with that point. So they kind of share that point, both the tangent line and the function itself. And we also need to make sure that they have the same slope at that point. So whenever you're trying to figure out the slope of a function at a certain point, you're going to want to start with that function's derivative. So the first thing we want to do is take the derivative of this function. So if we're gonna take y prime, we're gonna to have to use product rule, right? So doing this, we'll just kind of go down here and kind of write, write out the steps for that. We'll say that our function f is gonna be x, and then g is gonna be e to the x. Then we wanna find f prime, the derivative of x is just one. And we also wanna find g prime, the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. So now product rule says we're gonna multiply these together and multiply those together and then add them up. So x times e to the x plus 1 times e to the x, which is just e to the x. So this is the derivative of our function. And now if we want to find the slope of our function y when x equals 0, all we have to do is take 0 and plug it into our derivative for x. So doing that will just give us 0 times e to the 0 plus e to the 0. 0 times anything to the 0 is just 1. So e to the 0 is 1. 1 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 1 will just be 1. So we know when x equals 0, the slope of our function is 1. So where that's going to come into play is if we're trying to find the equation of a line, right? A tangent line is just going to be a line, which is a linear function. We know it's going to be in this form. y equals m times x minus x0 plus y0, where x0, y0 is a point that lies on this linear function. So m is going to be the slope. So we know that our function y has a slope of 1 at the point that we care about. So we know our m is going to be 1. Now, we also need to figure out some x, y coordinate that lies on this, this line also, and so that we can plug that in there. We aren't exactly given an x, y coordinate that we know needs to lie on this line. However, we know that our tangent line has to share a point with this function when x equals 0. So in order to find the y value that corresponds with that x value, all we would have to do is plug that into our function here. So if we plug 0 in there, we would get y equals 0 times e to the 0, which is just 0 times 1, which is 0. So we know when x equals 0, y equals 0, so the point 0, 0, lies on this function. And in fact, our tangent line also needs to go through that point 0, 0. So what we can do is put 0 for our x coordinate, 0 for our y coordinate, which gives us y equals 1 times x plus 0, which just is y equals x. So y equals x is the equation of a, a line, which would have the same slope as our function when x equals 0 and would also have the same y value as our function when x equals 0. So it's going to be tangent to that function at x equals 0.